it's kind of trickling down because Nintendo of Japan is definitely not with the times yet, and it's like trickling down into every other region. Like, I think they really need to get on board. And uh, what's the um? Before I uh, jump into it, do y'all know the uh, prices of the uh, new online they're gonna do? Is it's it? It's going to be free for the first seven months, and then I think it'll be like no more than ten dollars. Uh, I think they either said between no, ten to four, ten to th- fourteen dollars. Okay, well, between regardless, yeah, I, the for the, I think it was like ten to fourteen for the year, though, wasn't it? Like, yeah, it was for the actually year. Really cheap. No. Yeah. Well, even still, man, they need to get a handle on this online situation. I really yeah. they do. If they trying to pull like pay to online now, they got they can't screw it up or else. That, yeah, that's that's my thought process behind it too. Like I I'm not I'm not that Nintendo fanboy who's like oh guys everything's gonna be great. But to me, looking at a biz as it at it as a business decision, if you're going to charge people for a service you used to offer for free, you now have the confidence that you're providing them with a better quality service. Otherwise, people are going to literally hang you by your fees. Like people are gonna be like you're charging me ten dollars for the same shit internet that you had on the Wii and the Wii U, like, that that won't fly. So, yeah, especially since uh, so much time has passed, like, so many different consoles have come out. Like, all these other consoles basically have a model now. Like, they don't, you really don't even have to make up your own, mm-hmm. if that makes sense. You can just, you, if, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I mean, even even look at look at what Sony did this generation. They're like, okay, we saw what the 360 did with Xbox Live. So Sony was like, all right, we're going to take PlayStation Network on the PS4 and just kind of follow the Xbox's model along. Mm-hmm. It's it's been it's been great. Uh, you know, I, I know I own PS4, and uh, I owned a 360 the generation before that. And you know, as you could tell, they were learning. So if the Switch looks in with the Xbox and the PS4 have done with their online, and like do something similar, a lot of their other games will benefit. Like uh, you know, I know a good amount of people who are huge Platoon fans. Imagine how. Woo! Imagine how how good like because Splatoon is already a good game. It's already fun. Oh I sat down and played it. It's it's, oh it's, it's great. It's a blast. It but is. Imagine, <laughs> ima- imagine, oh imagine how it can be ascended to that next level. I know. Even better I'm, online. Like, so many matches. Online. So many matches. Oh, oh, that I was right there and just nope disconnect which kind of brings me back to the voice chat thing imagine how much a and game like splatoon chat. would like splatoon would benefit greatly from voice chat communication oh, being able I to could, talk with your teammates I will. yeah and i will be able to tell them to stop good. playing call of fucking duty and actually paint the damn stage <laughs> 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 uh, oh, i mean but, but i mean like nintendo has always been good for like in terms of experiences like splatoon they've always been good at like taking a concept and turning it on its head and then still somehow making it good I look at I look at Mario Kart as a concept. What is Mario Kart really? It's a bunch of Nintendo mascots and go karts throwing shit at each other, right? <laughs> In a lot of ways, that really shouldn't be as fun as it is. But it's also it one of the most fun racing games out there because they they always put in the right concepts and gameplay things. But I mean, I don't know. I think I personally think that the this year is going to define the way that the switch looks but from the way they've set themselves up it's looking pretty good like to, to all the people out there who are complaining like oh my god i can't believe they're only releasing zelda at launch like it seems like zelda is bigger than gta 5 and skyrim it really, it really possibly is. combined with as big as stupid big as that map is because the map is stupid big it just makes no sense like, like I, yeah. I sent blue a picture the other day and even after i looked at the picture i was like that actually I doesn't almost, matter. i almost shit my pants <laughs> <laughs> that joke was like, like the map is yeah, it is huge. Was, it's like you could go here and try to beat the game for minutes, or you can just explore this whole game and like be lost for you know years. <laughs> yeah, like I was looking at some of like I was looking at some like the collectibles in the game because of course Zelda games are defined by like the things that you can collect, um, and they have like a hundred shrine challenges, which is how you I guess increase your heart slash stamina meter, and then they have nine hundred. 900 nope. Koroks, the nope. little leaf guys to find for <laughs> something for like item slot expansion or something like that. And I was just like, 900. Then I looked at the map and I was like, oh, 900's about right. Like, because <laughs> <laughs> like, otherwise, I'd be like one Korok per region. And that's just, <laughs> that'd get boring. So, but yeah, like, and I'm sure you, you probably would like find them in bundles or something. I can't imagine you have to go individually look for 900. But then, like, I don't know. I haven't played the game. But, yeah, like I, I'm hype about it. I, I don't care. I know people are all don't ride the hype train, and 
and Nintendo's let us down before, and you you know those darn Nintendo. Like to me, Nintendo's never really let me down. They've just disappointed the expectations yeah. I set for them. Because I, I mean, the Wii they wanted to make a family friendly console that everybody can play. That's literally what the Wii was. The Wii U worked. They wanted a they wanted a console that had a gamepad that was a second screen, kind of like the 3DS that you can move around. That is literally what the Wii U was. The 3DS, 3D gaming in your hand. Literally what the 3DS is. I think. The issue is that people like put their like childhood stock in Nintendo. And they'll be like, "Oh my God, the Wii U has portable gaming, Call of Duty in 4K," and then they get disappointed when it doesn't happen. It's just like they never promised you that. It doesn't mean they shouldn't do it. I just don't think they ever. I don't think that Nintendo's ever promised more than they've delivered. They just kind of sell themselves short with their promises. I think one of the best ways to avoid that disappointment, though, is to. Uh is to go in to Nintendo products not expecting too much from the third-party developers. When you buy a Nintendo game, <clears throat> or excuse me, a Nintendo console, you get it because of all the Nintendo exclusives. Nintendo is chock full of exclusives. You get it for the Mario, you get it for the Zelda, all the Mario Party games, like, you know, insert you know, Nintendo game here. That's why, that's why you get it. Yeah, but see, that's so, the like, problem, right? That, that, but that, in, there in lies the problem. Why? Nintendo's not doing so well. They need they, that third party. 